everybody's opinion about it is based on their own political views or their own experience and their own perception of this current reality. Right, and so if the facts say that like fossil fuels, industrial agriculture, these these types of things are the main causes of climate change, then everybody has a personal responsibility. And that's a, a hard thing to accept, right? Because you're still driving your car, you're still using fossil fuels, you have electricity, you're still buying food at the grocery store, like all of these things add up. And while we're past the point of individual impact, right? Like we couldn't individually impact climate change 30 years ago when people started recycling and carpooling and changing their light bulbs and all of those things. So being beyond that point, but yet still having this like feeling of personal responsibility, it's not a comfortable place to be, especially when you're still consuming fossil fuels on a daily basis. We can't stop because there's no other option that's affordable or economical. And so because we're dependent on it because of the system, it's really difficult to change your thinking and put yourself in that place where you're like, okay, this is the cause and this is the solution. There's no bridge there, right? There's no way we can get to the other side of the river. because there's no options that most people can afford. You know, if we could afford to put solar panels on our house, if we could afford to install gray water systems and drive electric cars and whatever, you know, most people would probably make that choice, but we don't have that choice. That's not a viable choice, not even for us, you know? And so if we have no way to get to the other side, then that's not the solution. That's not the way. And if we can't get governments to change, if we can't even get our own president to believe in climate change because it doesn't serve his own personal financial interests, then there's no fucking way we're gonna get the Green New Deal passed, which could take 10 plus years to even implement everything in the Green New Deal. Then it's not viable for this moment. And while, yes, it is the direction we would ideally like to see our governments moving in, it is the direction we would ideally like our politics to be moving in, we don't have time for that anymore. We should have done that 20 years ago if we wanted that to be now. now. Now we have maybe eight years before we're in complete social collapse, before several places in the world are uninhabitable, before we have such degradation and loss of species that we don't have viable sources of food and medicine anymore. And because we're in such a crisis, and most people don't even want to admit it, that means we have to remove ourselves from the system altogether. Together. The system is unfixable in the time that we have. If we waste our time trying to get policies changed, trying to get global leaders to even admit that it exists, we will be too late, 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 And I don't think most people understand that we're at a point where we can't go back. We can't undo what's been done. And we cannot stop the snowball effect of climate breakdown. We fucked up. And we fucked up the future for our children. And for ourselves. And if we want to give them hope, 
and we need to make sure that they have trees. That they have grass and animals. And fungus. And food. And medicine. And clean air and water. Because without nature, we have nothing. The only thing that could possibly adapt and evolve fast enough to outpace the destruction we've caused is nature. And if we do not return to nature, we will not be a part of it.